In obtaining a representative grab sample for on-site chlorine testing, plan ahead and run the tap for the prescribed time of five minutes. Running the water is done, so standing water clears the plumbing and sample water is representative of chlorine within sampling points at the treatment plant or in the distribution system. While water is flushed through the sample tap, you can use this time to prepare the tools and supplies you'll need to conduct the test. This includes the testing instrument, any rinsing water, reagents, and documents you'll need to follow the prescribed procedure and record the test results. After the water is flushed for the five minutes, rinse the sample container three times to remove contamination from previous samples, slow the flow of water from the tap, collect the sample, and move to the testing area. Ensure the testing colorimeter being used is in good working order and has a current calibration as prescribed by the manufacturer or regulator. In this reminder, the operator is using a handheld colorimeter for the test. The same principles discussed in this reminder video apply to using a larger bench-based device. Ensure the colorimeter sample vial is clean and free of contamination from previous sample by rinsing three times with LabUse approved ultra high pure water. Ensure the vial cap is also rinsed. Fill a sample to the designated sample line on the vial. This is done because it's a pre-measured amount of water sample for the pre-measured reagent in the pillow packet. The next step is to put the uncolored sample into the colorimeter and zero the sample. Cut the pillow pack. Always ensure the cutting tool is free from contamination. Put the pillow pack of reagent into the sample vial. Place the lid on the vial. Stir the vial to ensure the reagent is mixed and dissolved. Ensure the outside of the vial is free of sample and scratches. Replace the vial and the instrument with the proper alignment. Read the sample. Record the results in the appropriate log document. In between the free and total chlorine samples, rinse the vial three times again with pure water to avoid introducing contamination. Remember to rinse the vial lid too. Fill a sample to the designated sample line on the vial. This is done because it's a pre-measured amount of water sample for the pre-measured reagent in the pillow packet. The next step is to put the uncolored sample into the colorimeter and zero the sample. Add the second package of reagent Replace the lid, remove and stir. Remove any exterior contamination and return the vial to the instrument. Read the results and record in the appropriate logs. Prepare the instrument for storage. Clean the sample vial with pure water so the vial is clean of contamination for its next time use. Finally, clean the work area.